welcome to the Lynette Zhang YouTube channel, where we support community and sound money globally. We want to make sure that you subscribe. So hit that button because we've got to build this channel as rapidly as possible. And we need your help. Now, what we're going to talk about today is the bank that bought SVB when it failed last year. Hmm. Wow. They're in trouble. Shocker. So let's take a look at what's going on with the banking system because they only, they want to just hide things from you so that you can't see what's going on. But I'm telling you, it ain't over. So the yen and the Swiss franc surge on Haven bid as banking worries flare. All right. There are different ways that you can value a currency. One that they're talking about is against other currencies. So if the Swiss franc and the yen, Japanese yen surge, the dollar goes down. But does that really tell you what's happening? Because the truth of the matter is, is inflation shows you what's really happening. As we've seen in Zimbabwe, you're going to have 10 trillion Zimbabwe dollars. You're a trillionaire, but you can't buy anything with it. So what matters the most is your purchasing power. Everything else is about hiding you to keep you inside of this system. So the specter of building strain in the U S banking system, bolstered traditional haven currencies. Uh, I mean, that's a joke really where investors often seek temporary refuge during times of financial market uncertainty. I mean, honestly, it makes me laugh because you're jumping out of the fire frying pan into the fire. All currencies purchasing power looks like this down, 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 but the unexpected loss from New York community bank Corp sent its share price tumbling and evoked the fears of a banking crisis that flared briefly last year after the collapse of Silicon Valley bank. Well, guess what? What we see is the teeny weeny 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 itty bitty tip of the iceberg. It's what's beneath the service that we don't see that we have to prepare for. And that's frankly, what gold and silver does for you. But whoops, where are we right here? New York community bank Corp plunged a record 46% after reporting a surprise loss tied to deteriorating credit quality and a cut to its dividend. Do you really think that the issue around commercial real estate is over? Do you really think that the problem with all the bonds and the debt in the banking system from all of those mortgages and auto loans and bonds that they bought at zero interest rates is over? No, we ain't seen nothing yet. I promise you, but Hey, it plunged 46%. Okay. New York community bank Corp plunges as real estate risks, jolt market. Who doesn't know that we're in an overvalued, severely overvalued market. Okay. Investors have been trying to gauge the potential fallout for us banks that held about 2.7 trillion in commercial real estate loans late last year that are all underwater. As property values tumble and borrowers desperate for new financing face heightened interest rates. And also it's harder to get loans these days. The stock fell as much as 46% Wednesday and was down 38% at the close of New York trading. The KBW regional banking index dropped 6% its worst day since the deposit run toppled Silicon Valley bank last March. New York community bank Corp through its Flagstar bank unit agreed to buy 38 billion of signatures assets, including 25 billion in cash and about 13 billion in loans from the FDIC. But the reality is, is that this is still a very opaque market, which is why I keep saying it's not over yet. They paper over things cause that's, what's easy to do and cheap to do. But I'm telling you right now, it's going to get a whole lot worse and, and likely not too far down the, down the line. 
Okay, their chief risk officer left weeks before big loss. Hmm, what do you think he knew that you didn't know? If you bought that stock because you thought they were in great shape or you were holding it because you thought they were in great shape or guess what? It's in, it's in some of your ETFs and mutual funds and other Wall Street products that transfer that risk. I mean, the chief risk officer left weeks before the big loss, huh? And they seek to reinsure investors after Moody's downgrade. Don't worry, nothing to see here. Just keep going. I mean, I love it. Regional lender promotes former Flagstar chief to executive role after rating cut to junk. Now, don't you feel better? Wow, I know I do. But Moody said NYCB faced numerous financial management and risk management issues. They all do. The banks are so far underwater, it's ridiculous, but they don't have to show you that. The credit rating group said the banks still lacked sufficient reserves to cover potential loan losses, even after setting aside an additional 500 million in its most recent quarter. I'm telling you, even though we're talking about New York Community Bank, we are actually talking about all banks. They want you to think this is just regional banks, but it's not just regional banks. It goes into even the central banks. It's every single bank is underwater. They just don't want you to know it. So NYCB and talks to offload mortgage risk, exploring those loan sales. So who could be the buyer? What they're doing is they are transferring the risk. That is Wall Street's job, to transfer the risk from the few that has benefited from it to the many so that they eat the losses. And when people don't understand what's happening and they think that Wall Street is so much smarter than they are, well, I gotta tell you, in most cases it's true. And they talk about it in such gobbledygook and around the corner terms that the normal investor doesn't know what's going on anyway. And they're accepting, they're volunteering to accept that risk, which is crazy to me. And they're doing it at a time when the Federal Reserve that bought up, oops, I didn't grab this, let me grab it that bought up all of those mortgages and every time they've attempted to offload, look at what's happened, it doesn't work. There is so much that is going on in the real estate market, not just the commercial real estate, but even in the home real estate, in mortgages in general, because of the interest rates. And if there is a fire sale, what they now keep at par right? So that you don't see how underwater they are. In other words, if it was a thousand dollar bond, they're reporting it as it's still a thousand dollar bond, even though it might market wise its value if they were forced to sell it, if there was a run on deposits in the bank and they were forced to liquidate, maybe, maybe they'd get 500 bucks for it. That's when you see the truth but are they hiding the truth from you right now? Of course they are, because they do not want you to know what this truth is. And that is that the problem is not over. And what are we looking at here? We're looking at derivative gold contracts in the FDIC insured banks. And you see this big jump, right? Well, that's because they changed the rules in January, 2022 but they kept what they were doing hidden all this time. Do you really think that even this reflects the truth? Nope, but it sure can, whether it's hidden or it's a little more visible, it sure can control the visible price that you see in the spot gold market. That is called perception management. Make no mistake about it and they want to manage your perception 
so that you do what they want you to do. It's legalized price manipulation that enables that risk transfer to the public, to the many from the few. Don't believe them? Get physical. Because if you don't hold it, you don't own it. That's it. It's just that simple. So if you like this, please give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. We need to do whatever we can do to really boost subscriptions and create this community on a global basis. Make sure that you share this video with your friends and family. It's short enough. Maybe you can get them to watch it. But the best way to show, show your support is really for you to subscribe and get everybody that you can to subscribe because that'll put us higher and higher and higher on the list, make us so much easier to find. This is critically important because together we can really make a positive difference. So until next we meet, please be safe out there. Bye-bye.